Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 7 of Tableau interview question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So our first question is limitations of data blending. Data blending is very common concept regarding interview. Sometimes interviewer ask you about what is data blending and what is the advantage of data blending and how we use it. But sometimes we forgot to check out the limitation of data blending. So these are the limitation of data blending. First one is when there is one to many relationship between the data, it will give a strict in the view. One to many relationship is when one value of table one is connected to many value of table two. This is called one to many relationship. So it will give a strict in the view. If you are working with cube data source that is SAS, so it should be primary data source. Okay. And data blending slow down query execution speed in higher granularity. This is because data blending aggregate the data first and then combines it. Okay. So if we are having higher aggregation, then it will work fast. If we are having higher granularity, then it will slow down the query execution. Okay. And last one is we can't publish blended data source as single data source. If we have multiple data source, we can't publish all of them as a blended data source on the tableau. Instead of this, we have to publish all the data sources as individual and then use data blending between them. Okay. Our next question is what is ZN function? ZN function is used to replace null value with zero. It will return the expression value if there is no null value present in the data. So this is the syntax of ZN functions. ZN and then we give our measures name and one thing we can use ZN function only with measures. Our next question is difference between fixed LOD and include LOD. So fixed LOD is independent of view. It will consider only dimensions which are present in the expression. Okay. Include LOD consider dimension which are present in the view as well as the dimension which are present in the expression as well. Okay. It is not affected by dimension filter. It is affected by dimension filter. Let's discuss this point by using our order of operation. So as you can see, Fixed LOD is applied after context filter and include and exclude LOD is applied after dimension filter. If we are using dimension filter in our view, then fixed LOD will not be impacted by our dimension filter. But if we are using dimension filter, then it will impact our in include and exclude LOD. Okay, let's move to our next question. So our next question is write a calculation to find out rolling six month in tableau. Rolling six month or last six month both are same thing. So this is the calculation. We are calculating the date difference between order date and today's date based on the months. Okay. If the date difference between order date and today date is less than equal to five and date difference between order date and today date is greater than equal to zero, then it will give us sales. And then we are ending our calculation. We are using less than equal to zero because we are including current month here as well. Okay. If we don't want to include current month, then just remove equal expression. Okay, and increase the value here. Okay, so that we can get last six months. Okay, let's create a calculative field in tableau and to see how it works. Now, let's go and create a calculative field. Rolling six and write our calculation. If date diff and we are taking based on month and then colon field that is order date and then colon function today that will take the date of today's is less than equal to 5 and date diff month order date and today okay is greater than equal to 0 then it will give us sales and our calculation okay and click on okay now let's drag our order date take the date of 23 and change it to the month remove quarters okay now let's drag our rolling six months okay now you can see our current month is zoomed so we are getting the data of last six months okay let's say I will remove this equal sign and click on OK. Now you can see this will not consider now our current month. It will consider 
five months okay and if we change it to to zero and we remove this equal then it will exclude january okay this is how you can use rolling six month so our next question is can we add worksheet in tooltip yes we can add worksheet in tooltip so how we can add it first let's create two worksheet go to the tooltip of worksheet one and then go to insert and then go to sheet and select the desired sheet let's do it in the tab view as well now let's discuss how we can add worksheet in the tooltip let's say this is our sheet one and go here and drag our order date and click on 23 and drag our quarters and go to our months and remove it and we drag our and then drag our sales as well so let's go to our sheet one go to tooltip and go to insert go to sheet and click on a sheet two okay and click on okay when you hover this you will get the data for this as you can see for january we have this much of profit this much of sales okay and this is the rolling sales for this one okay this is how you can add worksheet in the tooltip. Our next question is how to make a field with date data type in Tableau. So there are three ways to do it. First one is we can click on the data type of field and then select date or date time. And second one is we can create a calculator field and use our function that is date function to create a field with data type. And third one is we can use make date function to create a field with data type. Let's check these in Tableau as well. Now first one is let's say we want to change it to date so we can just go and click on date now it is changed to date second one is let's go and create a calculator field and then call our function date and then cola let's say we are changing order id it's just a demo and click on ok now you can see we get our date data type and third one is make date demo and call our make date and in the make date we can't use any of these values so instead of this we have to specify our year let's say i'm specifying 2023 then i'm giving 06 then i'm giving 18 okay and click on ok and when you drag this you will get the date ok as you can see their data type is also changed this is how you can use all three methods to make a date data type field ok so our next question is when you replace a data source in the tab view what are common issue you face so these are the common issue that you will face when you replace a data source in tab view first one is color encoding get reset when you replace data source and you are using custom color encoding then it will get reset then you need to apply all the custom color encoding again second one is calculated field are marked invalid when you replace the data source and some of the fields are not present in the new data source then the field which are not present in a new data source will give exclamatory mark third one is filter get reset fourth one is you will get duplicate values okay thank you so much guys if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos.